Opioids are drugs that are derived from opium. And there are some opioids which are natural. For example, morphine exists naturally inside opium. Codeine exists naturally inside opium. Some opioids are semi-synthetic, meaning you start with something natural to make them. Heroin is a semi-synthetic opioid. Oxycodone, which is an oxycontin, hydrocodone, which is in Vicodin, they're also semi-synthetic opioids, meaning you start with opium to make them. And something that many people don't understand, including doctors who are prescribing opioids, is that when we talk about opioid pain medicines, drugs like hydrocodone and oxycodone, we're talking about drugs that come from opium that in many ways are almost identical to heroin. The effects produced in the brain by oxycodone and hydrocodone are indistinguishable from the effects produced by heroin. An experienced heroin user, if you give them an opportunity in a study, this was done at Columbia, they gave them an opportunity to self-administer oxycodone or heroin or some other opioid, and they didn't tell them which was which. The heroin users couldn't tell one from the other, and in fact, when you ask them, which do you like the best, the oxycodone beat out the, the heroin just a little bit. It wasn't statistically significant. But my, my point is that when we talk about opioid pain medicines, we're essentially talking about heroin pills, which you know, to, to make that statement doesn't mean that we should never prescribe them. They're very important medicines for easing suffering at the end of life or when used a couple of days after major surgery or a serious accident. Unfortunately, though, the bulk of the prescribing, the bulk of the consumption in the United States is, is not for end-of-life care or a couple of days after major surgery. The bulk of our consumption is for common conditions, moderately painful conditions, where opioids are much more likely to harm the patient than help the patient. Regardless of how the young person develops their opioid addiction, once they're addicted, they have a hard time maintaining their supply of opioids visiting doctors. So the young person who's addicted winds up on the black market pretty quickly in order to maintain their, their opioid supply. And the pills are very expensive on, on the black market. And what's happened over the past 20 years as the number of these young people addicted to opioids has increased, we've seen heroin move into more regions of the country where it wasn't previously available to meet the demand for it by this growing number of young people who are opioid addicted. We've seen overdose deaths in that group rise very rapidly because the heroin supply has become more dangerous. It has fentanyl in it now. Patients and prescribers really need to understand that opioids are highly addictive, that a prescription opioid is essentially a heroin pill. And that, of course, it doesn't mean that they should never prescribe it or that the patient should never take it. It means we have to be very careful with these drugs. I think we should avoid using opioids when we can because addiction is really a devastating disease.